together. Pupils Book 3, The Golden Globe, by Diana Webster and Anne Worrell. Published and copyright Longman Group UK Limited. Cassette 1, Side 1. Unit 1, Exercise 1. The Golden Globe. Listen and look. It's the summer holidays. Al is staying with Joe's family. What are we going to do today? I don't know. This holiday at home is going to be boring. We went to Scotland last year, Polly. What was it like? It was great. I've got the Cliff Castle video here. Do you want to see it? Oh, yes, please. No, wait. It's children's TV now. Let's watch it. Hi, I'm Mandy. Today we're starting our new adventure game, the Golden Globe. I'm going to hide this beautiful golden globe in a secret place. We're going to give you some clues. Solve the clues and find the globe. Write to this address and ask for a form. We're going to give you the first clue next week. Don't miss it! Quick, let's write and ask for a form. Yes, come on, let's write now. OK, but let's finish our sandwiches first. Unit 1, Exercise 2. What are they going to do? Listen. What is Mandy going to do? She's going to hide the Golden Globe. What are the children going to do? They're going to solve the clues. Unit 1, Exercise 3. The Cliff Castle Video. Listen. Who's that? It's Beth. What's she doing? She's playing a computer game. What's that? It's a machine. What's it doing? It's taking the dog for a walk. Oh! Unit 1, Exercise 4. The Dolphins. Listen. Who's going to be in our team? Asked Polly. Let's ask Beth. She likes adventures, said Al. What about Emma? said Joe. She solved the code in Cliff Castle. Let's ask Beth and Emma, said Polly. Al wrote to Beth. Dear Beth, are you having a good holiday? I'm staying with Joe's family. They're very nice. His big sister Polly is 13 and she's very clever. We're going to play the Golden Globe Adventure Game on TV. Can you come here on Saturday and play the game? Love from Al. Joe wrote to Emma. Dear Em, come to my house on Saturday and you can play the Golden Globe Adventure Game. We're going to call our team the Dolphins because dolphins are very clever. Love from Joe. Action Book Unit 1 Exercise F. Listen and write. Listen to Tim and Kim. They're talking about their holidays. Find Tim's questions and write the numbers. Hello, Kim. Where did you go in the holidays? Hi, Tim. I went to France. Lucky you. Did you go with your friends? No, I went with my family. Did you stay in a hotel? No, we stayed in my aunt's house. That's nice. Did you stay by the sea? No, we stayed in the country. My aunt lives on a farm. What was it like? It was great. Unit 1, Exercise 5 Song We're going to find the Golden Globe.
Two, exercise one. The first clue. Listen and look. Now it's the Golden Globe Adventure Game. Here's the first clue. Quick, let's write it down. Follow the river backwards to a city and a clock with no face. Follow the Nova backwards and a circle of stones is the place. And your password is Aurora. Good luck! Aurora? What does that mean? We need a dictionary. Where's the River Nova? We need an atlas. Which city has got a clock with no face? We need an encyclopedia. Let's go to the library. They've got everything there. The children went to the library. Beth and Emma found the encyclopedia. The volumes were in alphabetical order. Let's find city. How do you spell it? What does it begin with? It begins with C. Then it's I-T-Y. So we need volume two. Unit 2, Exercise 2. Cities. Here are the names of eight cities in Britain. Listen and say. Edinburgh. Glasgow. Cardiff. Newport. Manchester. London York Salisbury Unit 2, Exercise 3 Find the city. Listen. This is London. Why? Because this is Big Ben. Action Book Unit 2, Exercise B. Ask your partner. Listen. What does circle begin with? S? No, try again. C? That's right. Unit 2, Exercise 4. The River Nova. Listen. Al found an atlas. He looked for the River Nova in the index. We found the city and the clock with no face, said Beth. Yes, said Emma. It's Salisbury. Here's an atlas, but there's no River Nova, said Al. Did you look in the index, asked Polly. Yes, said Al, but it isn't there. How do you spell Nova, asked Emma. N-O-V-A, said Al. I know, shouted Emma. I know the answer. Shh, said the woman in the library. Action Book, Unit 2, Exercise D. Listen and underline. Listen to Al. He's talking about Cambridge, the place where he lives. Cambridge is a small city on the River Cam. There are many museums and libraries there, but there aren't many factories. Cambridge has a famous university. It also has a railway station. I like Cambridge because it is a beautiful old city. Unit 2, Exercise 5. Timbuktu. Listen. Play this game with your partner 
all round the class. I'm going to Timbuktu, and I'm taking an atlas. I'm going to Timbuktu, and I'm taking an atlas and a badge. I'm going to Timbuktu, and I'm taking an atlas, a badge, and a computer. Fact file: buried treasure. How do we know how people lived thousands of years ago? What did they eat? What clothes did they wear? What were their houses like? What toys did children have? There weren't any books or photos then. Where do we find the answers to these questions? Knossos. In 1900, Sir Arthur Evans read some wonderful stories about ancient Greece. He read about Knossos, a beautiful city on the Greek island of Crete. He went there and looked for clues. He saw some very old charms on necklaces round the women's necks. The women showed him where they found the charms. He dug and found the beautiful 4,000-year-old city of Knossos. Chatel Hayuk. In 1958, some scientists started to dig at Chatel Hayuk in Turkey. They found buildings over 8,000 years old. The scientists found seeds, bones, bowls, and pieces of wool. These told them that the people were farmers. They made their clothes from wool and animal skins. They built their houses from mud bricks, and they painted the walls. There were no doors or windows. People climbed down through a hole in the roof. The cities of the Mayas. About two hundred years ago, explorers in the rainforests of Central America found walls, buildings, and giant statues under the trees and plants. The Mayas built hundreds of beautiful towns and cities in the middle of the rainforests nearly two thousand years ago. We know the Mayas had wonderful clothes and furniture because pictures on the walls of the buildings show these things. The Mayas knew how to write and how to do maths. Pompeii and Herculaneum. Pompeii and Herculaneum were two cities in Italy. In the year seventy-nine. The volcano Vesuvius erupted, and buried the cities and all the people in them. In 1860, an Italian scientist Giuseppe Fiorelli and his team dug near the volcano and found the two cities. Inside the houses, there were plates and bowls on the tables. There were children's toys on the floor. Now we can walk down the streets and see how people lived there nearly two thousand years ago. Mount Li in China. In 1974, some farmers at Mount Li in China wanted water for their fields. They dug a well and found a huge hole with seven thousand statues in it. These statues were the army of an emperor who lived over two thousand years ago. His people buried the statues with the emperor's body because they thought he needed the army in the next world. Before this time. The ancient Chinese killed and buried the emperor's soldiers with his body. These statues look like real soldiers. Every statue is different. Unit three, exercise one, the circle of stones. Listen and look. The city is Salisbury, and the river is the Avon. Well done, Emma. Now the clue says follow the river. Let's go by canoe. That's too slow. We need a plane. What about a helicopter? Uncle Ray's a helicopter pilot. Great. Let's ask him. Where do you want to go? To Salisbury. Then we want to follow the River Avon. Yes, we want to go north. Why north? Because the Avon goes south, and the clue says. Follow the river backwards. How do you know the Avon goes south? Because the sea's in the south, and all rivers go to the sea, of course. You know I'm no good at geography. Okay, everyone, let's go.
The helicopter flew to Salisbury, then it went north. It followed the River Avon. They saw some villages and some old houses. I can't see any stones. There's a circle of houses. But it isn't a circle of stones. What's that over there? Oh, yes. Go east, Uncle Ray, please. Oh, no, sorry. I mean west. Here we go. Oh, I feel sick. That's it. It's Stonehenge. Look, it's on the map. Action book. Unit three. Exercise B. Listen. Count the squares and draw. Put your pencil on the dot at the end of the word start. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Now go north eleven squares. Then east one square. Then south one square. Then east again one square. North one square. East one square. South one square. East again one square. North one square. East one square. Now listen carefully. Go south five squares. Then east one square. North one square. East one square. South one square. East one square. North one square. East one square. South one square. East again one square. North one square. East one square. South one square. East one square. Now go north five squares. Then east one square. South one square. East one square. North one square. East one square. South one square. East one square. North one square. East one square again. Now this time, go south eleven squares. Then west one square. North three squares. West three squares. South three squares. West nine squares. North three squares. West three squares. South three squares. And west one square. What is it? Unit three, exercise two. Are you good at geography? Listen. Geography. History. Maths. Science. English. Art. Music. Games. Are you good at geography? No, but I'm good at history. Are you good at English? Unit three, exercise three. Which map is Polly's? Listen. This map is wrong because this bridge isn't next to the church. This road isn't east of the river. Action book. Unit three, exercise C. Listen and tick the chart. The five children are waiting in the park for Uncle Ray. It's very early in the morning.
<sighs> it's cold. What time is it? 20 past five. Where's the helicopter? Your uncle's coming at half past five. We've got ten minutes. Who wants a game of football? I'm hungry. Who's got the crisps? You can't have crisps now, Joe. Have we got the map? It's OK, Polly. Emma's got it. I don't want to go. I don't like helicopters. Don't worry, Em. It's going to be fun. Come on. We want to find the next clue. OK, Beth. Here comes Uncle Ray now. Unit 3, Exercise 4 How far is it? Look at Polly's map and listen. Find the places. Willsford Salisbury Upper Woodford Amesbury Lower Woodford Stonehenge Listen. How far is it from Wilsford to Stonehenge? It's three and a half centimetres. That's three and a half kilometres. Unit 3, Exercise 5. Aurora. Listen. The helicopter flew over Stonehenge. There's nobody there, said Beth. What about the password? asked Al. Aurora means sunrise, said Joe. I found it in the dictionary. Uncle Ray, said Polly, please can we come here tomorrow at sunrise? OK, said Uncle Ray. He turned the helicopter round. I feel sick said Emma. Unit 4 The Golden Globe Magazine go, go, go. Today's report on the Golden Globe Adventure Game There were two teams at Stonehenge at sunrise today. The Sharks, a team from Winchester, and the Dolphins, a team from Southsea. The Sharks were there first. Their car came to the Circle of Stones at half past five. The Dolphins came by helicopter and landed at Stonehenge at quarter to six. The sun came up in the east. Everyone asked, what now? Suddenly, Polly King, one of the Dolphins, shouted, Sunrise! Aurora! That's the password! Aurora! A man came out of the ticket office and gave Polly an envelope. It was the next clue. So the dolphins are winning, but the sharks are close behind. Unit 4 The Golden Globe Magazine go, go, go. Rag and Tag are you coming to my party? No, I isn't coming. Don't say I isn't coming. Our teacher said it's I'm not coming. He isn't coming. She isn't coming. They aren't coming. Oh dear, it isn't going to be a very good party. Why not? Because nobody's coming. Unit 4. The Golden Globe Magazine. A letter cassette from England. Hello, my name is Becky Sharp. I'm 11 years old. I've got one brother, his name's Jason, and he's 14. I haven't got any sisters. I live with my mum and dad and grandma in a small house in Chesterfield, in the north of England. There are lots of things to do here. My friends and I go to the cinema on Saturdays. Do you like games? I like football. My favourite team is Manchester United. I sometimes play football with my brother. I'm brilliant, but he isn't very good. I've got seven pets, a tortoise, 
and six goldfish. I want a dog or a cat, but my mother doesn't like them. Please write to me, Becky. Unit four, the Golden Globe magazine. Go go go! A puzzle. Listen. Clue. Two. Do. Now. Who? Joe. Go. So. No. Two. See. Say. B. We. He. Ah. Car. Year. Star. Far. Action book. Unit four. Exercise D. Listen. How do you spell Mississippi? M I double -S, S I double -S, S I double P I. Action book. Unit four. Exercise E. Listen and tick the boxes. The sharks went to Stonehenge in a car. Listen to Justin, one of the sharks. He is telling his friend where they went. Tick the things the sharks saw. Melissa guessed the circle of stones was Stonehenge. We asked her brother to take us in his car. He didn't know the way. We didn't have a map. We went round in circles. We were in a village, Riverside. We went north on a small road. We crossed a bridge and saw a big castle. We went through some trees and then we saw a church. We came to a village. We were in Riverside again. This time we went west. We went round a lake. We crossed a railway and went north. We saw a circle of stones. It was Stonehenge at last. Action book, Unit Four. Exercise F. Listen and say. The pig in a wig did a jig, when the hen in the pen laid an egg. Pig said the hen, "Your wig is too big, and you can't do a jig on one leg." Fact file: Ancient monuments. The Nazca Lines. In 1939, a pilot flew over the Nazca Desert in Peru. He saw some huge pictures and patterns in the desert: strange shapes, birds, fish, and animals. This pilot was the first person to see these mysterious shapes, because they are so big you can only see them from the air. They are over a thousand years old. How did people make these patterns? There were no planes or helicopters then. Some people think aliens from other planets made them. What do you think? Stonehenge. Stonehenge is a circle of stones on Salisbury Plain in England. It is about five thousand years old. The stones are huge. Some are nearly ten meters tall, and they are very heavy. How did people lift these stones? They had no machines then. The blue stones in the middle of the circle come from Wales, two hundred kilometers away. How did people bring these stones to Salisbury Plain? There were no trains or lorries then. Why did they build a circle of stones in the middle of an empty field? Some people think Stonehenge. Is a prehistoric cathedral to the sun. A line of stones points to the sunrise on Midsummer's Day. 
Some people think Stonehenge is a giant computer for astronomers. It shows how the stars move in the sky. The Pyramids There are lots of pyramids in Egypt, but the Great Pyramid of King Cheops at Giza is the most famous. This pyramid is about 5,000 years old. King Cheops built it because he wanted a safe place to put his body when he died. People put food, clothes, furniture, jewellery and ornaments in a room inside the pyramid because they thought he needed them in the next life. There are about two million stones in the pyramid. How did people take the stones to the top? Some people think workmen pulled the stones up an earth hill at the side of the pyramid. When they finished the pyramid, they moved the earth. They put the king's body inside, then they closed the door and hid it. But years later, robbers found the door and took all the treasure. The room is empty now. End of side one.